If you're in the market right now for a squat rack, there's a good chance that you've come across Titan's T3 and X3 racks. And in this video, I'm gonna explain to you the differences between the two racks, which rack I ended up going with, and which might be a better fit for your garage gym. Titan's T3 and X3 racks actually have a ton of similarities. So some of the similarities the two racks have is they're both gonna give you some options of how you wanna set up your specific rack. So you, one, you're gonna be able to pick out the height. So you can pick an 82 inch rack or what I have is the 91 inch rack. You're gonna be able to pick how deep you want your rack to be. So this is 24 inches or you can pick, I believe it's a 36 inch depth. You can also pick optional weight holders that you put on the side of the rack. So you can stack your plates right on the side of the rack. Then within the racks themselves, there's also a ton of similarities as well. They're both gonna come with two pull-up bars. You're gonna have a regular standard pull-up bar and you're gonna have a fat grip pull-up bar. They're both gonna have west side hole spacing. So west side hole spacing just means at the top of the rack, all of your holes that your J-hooks go in are two inches apart, except for this section through the middle where they're one inch apart, which makes it a lot more convenient when you're doing things like bench, when you're doing things like rack pulls. They're gonna have 11 gauge steel. So the 11 gauge steel just means the beams of the rack, that's the thickness of the steel. So beams come in different gauges when you're talking about squat racks. 11 gauge steel is what's considered the gold standard among squat racks. I worked in college weight rooms for a really long time. All of our squat racks at every college weight room I ever worked in were all 11 gauge steel. So now let's talk about what are the actual differences between the T3 rack and the X3 rack. So the T3 rack, which is what I have right here, the beams are two inch by three inch beams. And what that means is they're two inches wide by three inches deep. An X3 rack is gonna be three by three. It's gonna be three inches wide and three inches deep. Now, does that matter? Well, it matters because a three by three beam, it's more steel. So it's gonna be more style, it's gonna be more durable. However, the two by three rack is rated at 1,100 pounds. So unless you're squatting over 1,100 pounds or maybe you're doing rack pulls with over 1,100 pounds, probably not gonna be an issue for you. I know that I've had over 400 in my rack and I've never felt like it was unsafe or not sturdy or it was going to fall or collapse or anything like that. A three by three rack is rated at 1,650 pounds, but if you're doing 1,400 pound squats, good for you, go with the X3 rack. The other way that the three by three and the two by three matters is with the attachments that you get for the racks. So if you're getting J hooks or if you're getting a dip attachment or, or whatever kind of attachment that you wanna get for your racks, those are gonna be made to fit either a three by three or a two by three rack. Now, a three by three attachment size is more common. You're gonna find more attachments from more brands that make three by three attachments, but there's still plenty of two by three attachments. I'll put some links in the description down below to where you can see some of the different attachments that Titan has for their two by three racks. And the final difference between the, the T3 and the X3, and really the reason why I ended up going with the T3 is the price. So the rack's gonna be, uh, the, the price of the rack is gonna be dependent upon what height you pick, what depth you pick. Essentially, the more steel that you purchase, right, the more expensive the rack's gonna be. And the same thing with the X3. Because it's a three by three and not a two by three, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. So an X3 rack is gonna run you, depending on what you get, around $70 more than a T3 rack. Now, if I thought that was worth the extra 70 bucks, I would have got the X3. For me personally, for how I'm using it and what I'm using it for, I just really didn't see the need to spend the extra 70 bucks and that's why I ended up going with the T3. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit so you can just decipher like, okay, what are the differences between these two racks? Because when you're getting the squat rack specs, it can be a lot and it can be a little bit overwhelming. But the thing to keep in mind, the three by three versus the two by three is gonna be the main difference between your T3 rack and your X3 rack. If this video helped you out a little bit, do me a huge favor, go down, hit the like button and subscribe button and the bell and all the buttons down below. And then I'll also leave links down in the description below if you wanna go check out the T3 rack or even the X3 rack. See you guys in the next video.